Oh, May 30th. No, I, I actually called for somebody else. Karen Jones, you didn't call for me? Mm-mm. Oh. I thought I pronounced That's all right. Well, I'll take you. I thought um, I was my appointment was at 4 o'clock. Yeah, well, I had two people at 4 o'clock, and he oh. said, did you mean Karen? And I said, yeah, I guess I pronounced it wrong, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't see anybody else out there either. Uh, where they are. That's all right. Well, I didn't either. <laughs> I don't know where they are. Okay. That work. It'll take a blood pressure, then it flashes it real quick before I get a chance to read it. I left mine in Georgetown, and I had to borrow this one. Okay. And it ain't much. So right. let's go over your medicines real quick. Come on. Okay. You warfarin, atenolol, clonopin, metformin, is it provocol? Mm hmm Tramadol, Lasix, and Alopidine. Mm hmm You're here for an MRI follow-up. You are not allergic to any medications, right? Right. This is like the one my mom had. Well, what's your blood pressure usually run? The bottom number is usually around 89. It's 139 over 91. Okay. We made you a little nervous today. Yes, I was hoping my son would come with me so he could hear what's wrong with me. or I want him to understand I'm not able to do things. He can't, you know, see it, so if maybe a doctor could explain. He couldn't come. He had to, something else to do, so I brought him. <laughs> I am a driver. He's got your back. Yeah, he's my next of kin contact. Only one I got left. Driver. Yeah, I am a driver. Or two. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> Hopefully my son will be doing that to him, if he can have time. Alright, dear. He will be in with you. Okay. Did they get the reports? As far as I know, he, he hasn't told me. Okay. Because as as I, I had a bone density test done, too, and I don't know if she... She didn't ask me about that. She just asked Who me. Who ordered it? Did we order it? Mm -hmm. I need a drink of water. Okay. A few things. I hope it's not too much to take in. We do have pain medicine for you. And cal he's trying a different calcium with vitamin D to see if your insurance will cover it. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't ever know until the pharmacy actually runs it and tries to bill it. And then the insurance will kick it back and say, no, we won't pay for it. In surgery, so he's got some things that you, you need to get done. This is blood work, a chest x-ray, and an EKG which you can do here at the hospital. Okay. Right, but he wants you to see Dr. Brothies and he wants to make sure that your blood pressure is okay just to undergo, anesthesia will require it more so than he's requiring it. And then also to see your cardiologist because you'll have to stop your blood thinner mm -hmm. for a week okay. before. And a lot of times they'll kind of bridge you with something different like a Lovenox, there's a Lovenox injection that they can do. Yeah, I was on those before when yeah. I was pregnant. We're not going to make an appointment with her. You know, he might feel, a lot of times, like this was a little out of his depth, so he sent me over here. You want to do another room? Oh, Is the, the spur and the tear in the same place? Yes, so the, the like the top of your shoulder mm -hmm. and the spur. Remember on your x-ray where your collarbone and shoulder blade come together? We showed you that little piece of bone that sticks down. Uh -huh. Your rotator cuff runs right under that. Oh. So when you're down here, it doesn't rub. Right. But when you take your elbow above your shoulder or that's reach exactly. behind the plane of your body, that's where it catches. So that's where it's tearing it. Okay. So what, and my other question, uh, if you go in and the tear is little, you're just going to like cut the little clean it. flap So if off. you do that, You'll wear a sling for comfort, but you can start therapy pretty quickly, and you can come out of your sling just within okay. about a week. But if it's underestimated the size of your tear and we have to fix it, yes. for the first four weeks, you have to wear a shoulder immobilizer. Okay. So it, it really slows down your recovery time. So it takes, a month, it takes about 16 to 20 weeks or four to five months to get over a rotator cuff repair, okay. whereas it takes about eight to 12 weeks, which is two to three months to get over just cleaning it out. So if we just clean it out, you'll get better a lot quicker because we can start your therapy quicker. Okay, and then uh, what I was wondering, if it's a, a small tear and you can just like clean it off, you know, get rid of the flap, okay, 
But if it's a big tear, what do you do? Sew it up? Or? Well, well, there's these little plastic screws that go into your bone that have stitches attached to it, and that just hooks it back down. And do they stay there forever? Yeah. Okay. But you can, they don't interfere with x-rays or anything like that. You could still have anything. Anything would be there. better than what I'm having now. You should, my son, he just doesn't understand why I'm having yeah. so many issues or I'll burst out in tears when I accidentally do something. Yeah. It just freaks him out. So. Yeah, it's just, and that's why when you lay on it at night. I your, can't. Yeah, when your deltoid relaxes, it pushes it up in there. So. I did cry in the MRI <laughs> tank. After about five yeah. minutes at first, I was like, oh, this feels good. Yeah, when you're down, but when they change the position of it, and it's And then really all of a bad. sudden, I started crying. I couldn't yeah. handle it, but I made it through there. Okay, wait just a second. I'll see if there's... You don't, you don't need that for anything else, do you? Okay, you can come on out. Okay, and when we schedule the surgery, I'll... As soon as Dr. Brodsky says okay. it's okay... Okay, i got to work with transportation. Yeah, we'll call you. Okay, great. Thank you. So they're going to operate on the hand and cut off the spur. Water, County, water. Oh, I didn't ask him that. <coughs> they going to do it in Burden County or the hospital or the water. He said if the MRI underestimated it, they'll have to put some plastic screws in and they don't come out. Ma'am, yeah. one more question. Okay. Um, where would they do the surgery at? Here. Oh, it will be done here? Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'll be back in touch with you after I get a hold of Dr. Broth. Okay. Or we're going to go on ahead and um, he's given me your surgery codes. So we're going to go on ahead and try to get it all approved for your insurance. Okay. But, and uh, um, and, and uh, the medicine shop is going to try to get me some uh, pills to take to make my bones better. Oh. Mm -hmm. and he said that. And I'll call you back if that don't work. Okay. <laughs> Do, could I have a card? Do you have any of your Georgetown cards? Or We don't, but I can write down Could I get a copy of my report? From today? No, from the one they sent you from the hospital. I didn't get one from With the there. MRI? Yes. Yeah. And then write, just write your phone number on that if you want her on the back. I think I've got your phone number in my phone, but it's it's to a phone that never answers. There's no answering service to this phone. Okay. He's going to try to prevent my bones from getting any worse so I don't have to get on that five-year pill. Mm -hmm. um, he said sometimes calcium, you know, I'm young enough that calcium might do the trick. So. Yeah. It's not a bad, yeah. not a bad thing to do. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh, well, you all have a good day. Thank you.